Let's begin by uploading the background images that uh, we're going to use across all the different screens in our app. Let's click on the Assets tab over here and then the Choose, file, choose a File option. We've provided six different backgrounds for you to use uh, in three different color schemes, so you can pick whichever one you like the most. You can see the images appear here under Media Files and there's a little notification here as well to let you know that they've all successfully uploaded. Click on the Design tab and our component over here is called Screen 1. You can see the properties for this component over on the right hand side of the screen. Now it's a great idea to rename all your components as you create them so that you have a better sense of what they're actually doing. In this case I'm going to call mine Screen Home and all of the properties underneath um, allow me to change kind of how the screen itself or the component is going to behave. I'm going to click on the background option here and rather than using the fill which changes the color of the screen I'm going to use the background image like this. Set the reside mode to cover like this and it will cover the entire screen. The last thing that we need is our um, get started button so we can drag and drop that in. Notice here as well that we've got the guidelines to help us with the alignment and following our own advice let's rename this to button start like so and we can change the text property over here to something like get started. The last thing we want to do is change the background color so this kind of blends in with our scheme a little bit more. You can use any color you like I'm going to just go with this one for now. That's our screen home finished in terms of design and the last thing we need to do is add the functionality to link it to our translate screen. The first thing we're going to need to do though is add a second screen so let's click the plus button up here or if you prefer you can click the little drop down here and add a new screen or create a new screen this way. There's lots of different options there for you. Let's do screen translate like this. We're going to Go to our background property again, change the image, and this time we're going to use background 2. Um, on this screen we've got a variety of different components, so we had our navigation at the top, our output, our uh, translate button down along the bottom, but for now all we're going to do is use the blocks, Thunkable's blocks editor, to connect the, this guest started button to our translate screen. Over here on the top left of the screen we're looking at the design view, and beside that we have the option to change the blocks view. This is our blocks editor and it allows you to add custom functionality and logic to all of your Thunkable projects. We can see um, control um, flow statements here like um, loops and branches. We can uh, create our own variables and functions a little bit later and because this is a fully native mobile app you can do things like interact with the camera on the device, create uh, in-app purchases or create alerts um, directly in the phone. What we want is the ability to click on this button and navigate over to our translate screen. So here we click on button start, we choose the first option here which is when button start click and then we need to fill in some sort of um, next step or the next thing to do. In this case we're going to use the control blocks. The first option here is the navigate one because it's such a popular choice and we've got a drop down here so there's a small little arrow in here you might be able to see clicking this drop down on any block will give you a menu and we've got two screens in our app so our options are screen home and screen translate and what we can do here is we can preview the whole thing directly in our browser so let's click on get started and you can see that we have successfully navigated to the uh, translate screen the second screen in the app give that a go and come back for building out of the screen translate section